Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the final two episodes of part two of Saki. We are finally here. It has been a journey, and we only got one more part to do before I'm completely done with this show and such. Um, It feels surreal. I, I still cannot believe that, especially with these two episodes and the last two episodes that I watched, they're literally 30 minutes long, but it, it's just because it's so jam-packed and everything, especially with all the other episodes that I'm seeing. So my biggest hopes for this last two episodes before we get into part three, um, of course, this is Nationals part one and Nationals part two, um, with part three coming out after I'm done watching this. I feel like we're going to see two different sides of this. Like, this is going to be where the group who are friends with Nadoka or Madoka, I think that's her name also as well. Um, they're gonna win nationals and Saki's going to lose. Or it would be like for part three, Saki and them win nationals and such. We might just see like an alternate version of this. I'm not really sure. But you know, gotta, you know, find out and see. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode what number is this? Fifteen and three, two, one, go. And plus, I'm trying to do all this tonight because, unfortunately, I, I do have to go to work tomorrow even though I'm supposed to be off, but it's okay. Your girl getting extra money. It is a hospital. <laughs> Of course. Like, and I get it because she wanted to say so much, but yeah, it's her time to go. The girl who gets, you know, with the chains still took me out when I watched the previous thing. I was like, what? <laughs> like, okay. And like, I don't like the fact that she's getting her, you know, locked with chains and stuff. What are we doing, show? <laughs> but of course, that's her senpai. So, how do we do? The white. I mean, shouldn't you change? Yeah. 
Yeah, but this is a proper match, so you need proper clothes, so you go change. <laughs> and besides, it looks cute on you. You would think that they actually would just have possibly bought her a uniform that she would just wear. <laughs> but no, but I hear you're borrowing mine. Mm -hmm. Oh, her. You ain't got to be ruthless, sir. I think she'll be fine. Yeah. Already, god damn, it, it ain't even been like what 15 five minutes. Oh my god, my ear is like hurting my crown now again. See, these girls are about to be fucking ruthless.
the key. Well, I don't think that's going to be good when it comes. Because, of course, you have a move. And see, right now, she thinks she has the upper hand by doing this. But hold up. Blondie about to come up here with something and then just take all y'all down. I can't wear her hair like that. <laughs> it's just up in my hair. And there ain't no way in there anything, but I love it though. <laughs> no. They girlfriends. Everybody is girlfriends in this show, honestly. So now what do you do? Ha, ha, ha. 
I can't with this. There's too many fails. Fucking girlfriends. She just told her, and basically, you figure it out on your own. Oh my god, that's so fucked up. This is still nerve-wracking as fuck because we're 18 minutes into the episode. I really... 17. We have 12 minutes left before we're done. And it's just... It, it's anybody's game still. And we still have one more episode left. <laughs> I have no comment right now.
Of course, she come out with her super secret bullshit power move. Because uh, I was about to ask. So, um, <laughs> I'm like, thinking, I'm guessing this hasn't happened before. So, oh, oh. Is that what she wanted, though? But I think that's what she wanted you to do. Mm hmm This is a different bitch right here. I I'm sorry to use that word, too, but girl... Eighteen thousand. I peed so much that I stopped. But eighteen thousand. Oh my god. Me, I'd have been like, you know what? Forfeit. I'm done. Get me the fuck out of here. Leave my ass crying.
Very. That means she's planning something else as well. We're not going to see it until, you know, the final, final episode. Because we only have four minutes left. Oh. Oh. She did something all right. That's fine. I'm up before I go to bed. <laughs> well, that too, but... <laughs> Once again, it can still be anybody's game, but, oof. Especially with these four, they're gunning and using their all to just try to get to them damn finals. I feel like this is going to be a really crazy epic finale because I mean, you know, we're after this, we're going to go into part three. And so, like I said, part three could be anything. Now, I don't think, you know, after my little prediction that I did at the beginning of the episode, that's going to go. That's not going to go the way that I'm thinking it is. But um, the Girl Academy School is definitely going to continue on, a.k.a. Aqua's team to, you know, of course, face Madoka and such and we're going to see that in part three you know fingers crossed we hope but this was a good episode I mean you know, for the suspense and everything for what it was was damn freaking good I was not expecting for it to go that hard but especially with these four what I'd like to consider them OVA episodes and the fact that all four of them are like 30 minutes long and, and stuff, they do have a reason for it to be 30 fucking minutes because a lot fucking happens in the episode. And it's not just, oh, we're going to take our time. It's tense. It's fast. It, it's like a damn roller coaster. And they ain't stopping until they finish next, in the next episode. But who knows how this really could go? I mean, seriously. Homegirl with the blonde hair, I really, truly thought she was going to automatically win it, but because of the fact is who main characters are of this OVA series, we know what's going to happen. But, you know, yeah, just got to wait and see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But this is good, yeah, 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 you know. I, even with the parts that happened in the match, I don't even know what to say to that. I have no idea what to say to that. Some of that was, like, I'm just thinking, like, what the fuck, but I'm intrigued. I am very much intrigued. I mean, this is a show 
that is not like any other, once again, typical sports animes. And funny enough, I think this was like, maybe, was it earlier this week or sometime last week? There is another anime um, that is about Mahjong that I think is, I don't think it's coming out for fall. I think it's either coming out for winter or spring next year. And honestly, I think I'm going to go ahead and watch it. Because on a, this show has only interested, I cannot speak, interests me into the world of Mahjong and stuff, and just, it, it seems very different and such. And so I do want to see the contrast of something like Saki, because Saki is very much like top, high near, very underrated for a lot of people. It has that big community of people who loved it so fucking much. And this new Mahjong series that I have no idea what the fuck it's going to be about, but it seems like it's the, um, another thing or something similar to like, not, well, not really because of the art style. The art style is very different for that new series. Um, so, like, you know the Kida Fantasia game series or the Maga Time Kida something? Um, or, like, if you think of Bochi the Rock, um, Sakura Trick, New Game, um, Asteroid Love, Lit Back Camp. All those animes are, you know, of course, by one, um, mangaka and, you know, this magazine series and such. Um... And so, when I think of this new show, it kind of gives me feels towards that, even though the art style is not very similar to those particular animes that I listed, but it's the genre of cute girls does something cliche. Um, and, I, and so, for this new series, it is Mahjong. With this series, this is with a little bit of cute girls doing it, but at the same time, like, we're, we're taking it fucking seriously because... It's not, you know, oh, cutesy woozy, let me make a little mistake or something and such. This is a dog-eat-dog -dog world. We're all going off on each other. Like, this is to the death. Not really, but, you know, in a way, it's to the death. And this is, like, a completely different type of show. And, yeah, I, I like it. <laughs> but go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for the final episode. Okay. Final episode in three, two, one, go. Are we not going to get an opening? Well, you know what? That makes sense. It's the one time that these three have to work together just to get her down off the scale. Another one.
It should come in with something else. Another one. Oh. No success yet? Damn. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Hair's going down. Oh, shit. Really? Yeah, but let's hope that's not your downfall, sweetie. Is she getting eaten alive? Oh my god. <laughs> but 
but she's trying her best though. There you go. And that's why not the best best girl. Take it. That's something, though. So, even though it's cheap, it's something. <laughs> this is exactly what she wants. <laughs> you look like a damn Titan.
Ja. Yes. <laughs> I mean, because at the start, they were at first, but, you know, plumbing it down. But came right back up. Excuse me. Oh, like he did. <laughs> <laughs> nope, on your own. That's a little weird, though. But there has to be a reason why she did that. That's because, um, what's the thing? Oh, <laughs> 
Girl, we got 11 minutes left. Mm. So that's why. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh my god, I just got something in my eye. Yeah, your lifeline. <laughs> Poor baby. <laughs> I mean, cause she came in and she was like, mm mm, on your own. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So you always have to play like it's your last. Hmm? Oh. Damn, Shizu.
Yeah, took a lot out of her too. Oh. kick ass next time. All right, final thoughts on part two. This was good. This felt like more of the under... Uh, ooh, I cannot speak. Oh, my God. The underdog show. But at the same time, we got to see brand new characters and characters who we've seen from the previous series. And honestly, I'm not mad at that. And it continues a lot. And I hope that with part three, it really continues everything else so that we get the grand finale that you know we all think and what it's well deserved of honestly i cannot wait to see it next week because of course i think you know probably i will watch the episodes either on friday or sunday when i come home from work but it was good very different like i said very like underrated for these girls these girls were underdogs I just know these next, what, 15 episodes? Girl. It's about to be next fucking level on it.
But I will say, also having Shizu as our main protagonist and not Saki in this was at first very weird because, you know, it, it's it's Saki's show. Her name, Saki. So protagonist right there. And so going into it, that's why I was like, okay, either we're going to see a continuation of Saki or we're going to see somebody else. Um, but still in the same timeline of it. And that's what we got, a spinoff with a different group that still is friends with Nanoka, but they haven't truly faced Saki and such. And so we're going to see a lot of things happen, and I'm guessing, once again, Ooh, excuse me, in these 15 episodes for part three, a lot of things can really happen. Do I feel like it's going to continue right where it leaves off on the day of nationals? Yeah, I think so, truly, for the finals. And girls are going to be knocked out, well, teams are going to be knocked out one by one. I do also love the fact that, you know, they're, um, not the captain, but uh, their, their coach She's not only still going to kind of coach them, but she's also going to go in the professional league after they win. And, and it's a win-win for them, truly. But this was sweet. I mean, it was very enjoyable and such. I honestly cannot wait to see how this is going to conclude, how your girl is going to try to get it done quick, fast, in a hurry. Because even with everything else that's going on right now, I just, I got to go bam, bam, bam. I got to go back into, like... <laughs> work mode even though sometimes I am tired when I come home and I don't want to do shit and I had to get this done today because yeah as I said plus it was even harder because it's been raining you know all these last couple of days but by the time y'all will see this it'll be Saturday so it still is raining here by the time y'all see this on Saturday hi how you doing um but even when I go and work on Sunday, it's still raining. And so it's always a damper when it thunderstorms and such. It's even worse because then I can't record. But thank God I was able to record this. But this was really enjoyable. Loved it a lot. And I honestly truly cannot wait to see how this is going to end. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards the part two of Saki. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for everybody else. And next Saturday for Patreons for the start of part three, aka Nationals, aka the finale of the, well, the series finale of Saki. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!